All right, everything looks good. Uh, so, uh, back with uh, Dwarf Danger Open 2. This will be interesting because uh, I can feel I'm getting sick. <laughs> Anyways, uh, last time we left off at what I believe is the halfway marker for the trial. Uh, so, uh, continue. Hi, Mona Me! And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now! To think that the person who killed the wonderful Monty Ru claims to me is in this room! It's Kuzo Ryu, there's no question about that. Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Oh, I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! And don't forget to save regularly! Now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Do you mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Yeah, they got that wrong. Also, just noticed Ne- Uh, I was looking up Neko. Neko's package there. <laughs> huh? Candy can be a clue? Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Which means they saw her leave and then put the candy there. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. Yep, makes sense to me. Which means... The gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? The killer returned to the scene of the crime? After I left? They wouldn't have to do something with that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. That's impossible! There's nowhere to hide! Oh, yes, there is. I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there. Then... Does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so this is where the barred window comes in, I assume. Why always on Dagon Rumpa? I'll be back. Always Dagon Rumpa. It is only Dangarumpa that has this issue. I do not understand why. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? If so, we've prepared the perfect product for you. We'll dive into your own brain and logically we'll discern this mysterious answer from several questions. This, was, this is an interesting one. It's called The Logic Dive. For the logic dive, <coughs> you control a version of yourself created from the engine of your brain. The test is to reach the goal, the final destination of the sign out, of course. I'm going to save this right here. I cannot save this right there. You move sideways with the left stick and accelerate with the RP button. Plus the left button for brake and right button for jump. With various obstacles you encounter some progress of the course. Make sure you're familiar with these controls so you can reach the goal. In your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into the walls. Also, upon reaching a certain point, there will be branching questions in the course. The answers split into different paths, so we proceed 
down the path, but the answer you think is correct. First two questions will appear several times in one course. Please be careful. I recommend that you make good use of the break, but also the advice to you. And I can get the controls. Well, then good luck and have fun. Okay, now I'm going to save. Because we already had this unplugged once for some reason. I still understand why I only have the bag of those left. Very poor prop. The killer tamper with the entrance after the field go around away from the beach house. The killer arrived in the park from the beach house. Thank you. I'm supposed to think about it. I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. I'm going to do it. Oh god, it's this. This is a sonic stage. Rustic move, A, accelerate, B, break. Why did it say about using the bumpers? <laughs> Hi, you guys. Yeah, it's been a while, huh? Uh, this is... This is a sonic special stage. That's what this is. One, when did the killer arrive at the beach house? After. It literally has to be after. Um, how do I jump again? Why? Why would they... That's, that's an evil way of doing that. Okay. But that's correct. Just on the off chance... I swear that's wrong. It has to be after if they place the... I guess they must have been there before, left, and then... Uh, when did the killer leave the beach house? This is before Kyoko left. It has to be. said he'll go check everywhere. hiding while Yoko was unconscious. You know what? I'm going to see the beach. 
my gut instinct is wrong every time, I'm gonna say the beach. Because it goes against my gut instinct. My gut instinct was right that time. The beach house. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's pretty generous with it. It's all coming together. Do you think the killer might have been hiding? just to say something so pointless. How disappointing. Didn't I just say there was nowhere to hide? Do I have to explain it in another language so you can understand? Her personality got a hell of a lot more forceful once she stopped being a suspect. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no, there should have been a place for them to hide. A place you didn't look, Hilda. What are you saying? Stop being annoying or I'm gonna make a kind bop you on the head and shut you up for good. I really don't want that to happen to me. I can get fucking like minutes. This is where Kiko was hiding. This is where Yoko has to look is. Um. Definitely not sure on this one. But I'm gonna guess in the closet itself. killer was probably hiding in the closet. The closet? That's where I was locked up! After you woke up, you said you rushed out of there, right? Then you probably didn't look inside the closet very carefully. It was actually my reasoning. I'm surprised it was correct. <laughs> but could two people even hide in such a small place? And without Kyoko knowing? That's why the killer made sure to arrange a hiding place. to reach a hiding place in advance. So we take one place, that's right. Those hiding set closet was... Those hiding sites wetsuit, just good hiding things to get here, to get the So I just wanted to make, make that, uh... surfboard case in the closet. I'm pretty sure they could have hidden in there. I just noticed the thing was open. <laughs> huh? Inside the surfboard case? But the shelf it was on, it was pretty messy, don't you think? Two surfboards were stacked on the top shelf, and there were surfboards that weren't even in the case. The killer probably did that on purpose to secure a hiding place. Because we haven't been on this island that long, so the closet shouldn't have been that messy, I think. Then, the killer was close to me during that time? Yep. Yeah, they were quietly holding their breath and hiding very close to you. I like the, how the toes don't fit into the things and just stick up. It's kind of like... In for a penny, in for a pound, so to speak. But don't you mean, it's always darkest under the lighthouse? I don't think I've heard that one, Nekamaru. 
<laughs> I shouldn't say things I don't understand, like, so to speak. Anyway, the killer hid silently, and after making sure Hyoko left, he finally left the surfboard case. I agree with that as well. Seriously, nobody asked what you think. There's no way the killer would leave Hyoko by herself if they were trying to frame her. If Hyoko was left alone and ruined the evidence the killer had planted, it would have messed up their plan. Instead, it makes more sense to think that the killer was hiding in the beach house, watching Hyoko. Yeah, yeah, that does make sense. Say whatever you want, even if you didn't ask. Alright, if you don't want to friggin' get punched, just stand still and let me punch you! <coughs> Sure, uh, he'd enjoy it. Oh, you shut up. Then, grit your teeth. Sorry, Akane. It's not like that. Hey, Monokuma. Can I ask you about something that seems strange to me? I believe Prince Shotoku was from the future. A man from the future is always directing the flow of history. What? I'll listen to your story about men from the future some other time. As I recall, the body discovery announcement is made when three or more people discover a body, right? Right. Is the killer also included among those three or more people? Yeah, that's true, but, uh, well, something like that is basically what it's supposed to be. You don't sound very articulate. I never even thought of that. <laughs> Jeez! You're pretty annoying for noticing something like that! I should have thought of it because it was important in Dining Room for One. I know it sounds like an excuse, but the body discovery announcement isn't supposed to be used for deduction. It's intended to create a fair trial. It's supposed to let everyone know a body has been found. So you're saying it's unfortunate that I used it for deduction? I understand your excuse, but depending on who actually found the body, it's possible that your three or more people rule could be deadly. Well, as long as I keep things ambiguous, I can respond to situations with some flexibility. Flexibility, huh? So what about this time? Is it three people including the killer or not? No answer is yes. Jeez, fine, fine! You want me to say it? It doesn't include the killer this time, okay? All done! Alright, so the killer is not one of the ones that found the body. Okay. Which means... Three people other than the killer discovered Mahiru's body. We know Hyoko was one of them. We know, uh... uh Hajime was there. I don't remember who the third was. What's wrong with that? Nothing. I just thought it was somewhat strange. More importantly, let's get back to our original topic. Also, if the killer is not one of the three, that means she wasn't dead when the killer left? You're the one who went on a tangent! We were just saying the killer was hiding in the surfboard case, right? And after Hyoko ran away, the killer got to enjoy the simple life of destroying evidence. However, before we proceed any further, there's something we have to make clear. The killer blocked the roadside door with Mahiru's body before Hyoko ran away. But what about the blood? Now that you mention it, that mystery hasn't been solved yet. It's going to be all right. If you guys have come this far, so I'm you're sure right. you discover that answer too. Now, let's start the argument, shall we? Well, should I should, should explain to you the final feature in the non-stop debates. This point forward, you'll now be able to use the truth flashback. There we go. I was wondering why to get this power back. I 
really don't understand why it shows a button that doesn't exist. Like, I'm aware this was made originally for a Sony device, but that button still wouldn't exist then. Yep, there we go. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, it's not possible. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, well, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wetsuit? They cut it up and poosh. No. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare... It would definitely clog the toilet! That is a really good question there. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. That's a point I need to refute. They didn't have to use the shower. Oh, what about the wetsuits in the closet? Maybe they wore one when they moved the body. If they used something other than the shower... What did they do with the bloody wet Got food? it, okay. They cut it up and boosh. As someone who flushes their shit every morning, I can declare it would definitely clog the toilet. Yeah, a good question. Perhaps someone other than the killer moved the body? Maybe they were able to wash it off. Yeah, I, I've got the contradiction. What did the killer do with the blood on their body? The knee, my health is extremely low. Maybe they simply washed it off. They couldn't use the shower, right? So washing it off would have been impossible. No, that's wrong! The ocean exists. They just needed to wash off the blood. They didn't necessarily have to use the shower. They could have just as easily used something else. Something other than the shower. <laughs> like what? No, initially I was sure it's Hiko. Now I'm not so sure. The sea. No, okay. Oh, but they're all those bottles. Drinks inside the refrigerator. I see. Drinks inside the refrigerator. Can the killer use those to wash off the blood? I've seen through it. In theory, that's impossible. But why? Try to remember the refrigerator carefully, and then you will understand that there's no possible way the drinks in the refrigerator were used. trash can I'm going to eat. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try think one bottle drink wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. Oh, come on. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try thinking about it. One <sighs> bottle drink wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. 
come on. I had that. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try one bottle she wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! I need to be ready for that. It's true there were drinks in the beach house refrigerator. However, try one bottle she wouldn't be enough to wash off the blood. I can't back down! There we go. We can't assume they used just one drink. They could have used a bunch of them to wash it off. <laughs> Didn't I say it was impossible? There were no water bottles in the refrigerator. Allow me to cut through those words. There we go. We had the bottles in the trash can, and there were a lot of them. Yeah. There were water bottles inside the refrigerator. How many times do I have to tell you? There were no water bottles in there whatsoever. That was after the incident, right? But before the incident, there were water bottles in the fridge. And the killer took all of those water bottles and used them to wash the blood off their body. So you're saying the water bottles were gone? Because they were all used? That's a logical fallacy. It's not a fallacy. There should have been evidence inside the trash can. Evidence like a lot of thrown away plastic water bottles. Isn't that right, Chiaki? Oh, you're right. These bottles look like they may have been filled with water. Well, now that you mention it, when I went to the beach house a few days ago, I feel like I drank one of those plastic water bottles. Oh, you should have said so sooner. Then, the plastic water bottles were used in place of a shower. Yep. Dousing your body with lots of water bottles is such a simple and easy to understand explanation. If you use the shower room, there would be a drain. Hold on a sec. I think about it. They soaked their entire body with a bunch of plastic water bottles. And that, that person would be... It seems you've realized who the killer is. Oh my god, really? Of all people. I was so sure it was Kuzuryu, but it can't be. There was one person who was wet. Only one person. I was so sure it was because Ryu because it literally everything pointed to that. I should ask you this. Why do you believe I'm the killer? Alright, this is time to save. <laughs> also, let's look at my truth bullets. did wash the blood off with water bottles. They'd have to drench their entire body. But there were no towels in the beach house, and it would have taken a while for the water to fully air dry. So you said you went swimming so you'd have a cover story. Don't do 
Just stay silent. Say something. Hold on, you bastard. You saw her at the diner. You never saw her near the beach house, right? They're working together. Aren't they? So maybe she really was swimming. No one even saw her swimming. No. I saw her. Huh? After I ran into you bastards at the diner, I crossed paths with her on my way home. So, so there's no doubt. She would have arrived at the diner from the opposite direction of the beach house. Hold on. That's strange. Didn't you just say this earlier? Yep. You told me you didn't see anyone. Don't try to tell me you forgot about that. Not so fast! It's too soon to decide she's a killer! And it's the annoying rhythm game time. I say this as someone who likes the rhythm games. We haven't established how the killer was able to leave the beach house! Now that you've mentioned it, you hide. The roadside door was blocked! And if it's impossible to leave from the beachside without leaving footprints, then how the fuck did the killer escape? This is for the iron bark. Why are you all fired up for you, Nico? You're not the suspect. Echo is. Who cares about that? Answer me. If you have an explanation, then show me what you got. We might have an answer. Huh? Do you really? This mystery seems insolvent. You're right, he's a bad liar. <laughs> well, if Echo is the killer, then I might just have an answer to that mystery. I see. Then let's hear this alleged method of escaping the beach house. First, let's establish how the killer escaped. Okay, not worth the time yet. I know what that is. It's a small window in the shower room. I see! If the roadside and beachside doors aren't an option, the only other thing I can think of is... Well, nothing really. Except that small window in the shower room. <laughs> Don't you know how high that window is? There's no way Peko could have reached it. On her own. But, but, but what if... For instance, she got help from someone. She might have reached it by riding someone's shoulders, but then that person would have been left behind. The bars came right out. It was a small jump to get out, wasn't it? So someone was opening from the outside. Is it possible an object was used? A rope, for instance? And what happened to the rope after they used it? And don't say something stupid like they threw it outside. Of course not. That would violate the school trip rule. Whatever you saw loud, let's close to the island's valuable nature and mutual prosperity. Glittering is prohibited. Even if it might be evidence, rules are still rules. You see? There's no way they'd be able to escape from that window. I want to take a look at that truth boy. Can't be accessed unless you hit payback right from someone. It's not meshing it being loose though. It's annoying. No, they just have to use an object. Chiaki, don't fall asleep on us! We just said they couldn't use an object! You did? I thought you were saying they couldn't dispose of an object. <coughs> oh, the sword! I see! You just have to throw it away. If you can just hide it somewhere on your body. Huh? Pekka was wearing a swimsuit, remember? Where would she even hide an object? And if you say she hid it in her special place, I'll stab you in yours! You know what? That's fair. I'll give Yoko that one. No! Please don't be violent! Victoria's object escaped out the window. No one's able to get rid of it. The only thing I can think of the car must be hit somewhere. That's the case. Looks as think the object the door used to escape out the window. Oh, hangman time. I do not remember how this works.
So, if I remember this right, what I think it is. Oops. Okay. I thought it was actually sword case, but she just has it wrapped up the entire time, doesn't she? Alright, just need that D. That's what you take out of context. <laughs> Correctly, you had it then too. She did. Despite the fact that you had a swimsuit on, you were still wearing your bamboo sword. Uh, are you saying she used that bamboo sword to escape through the window? Yeah. Echo used that bamboo sword as a step stool and escaped out the window. A sword as a step stool? You see? I knew it! was a ninja. Didn't I tell you? A ninja could have climbed that easily. You know what? I'll give you that. Ninjas know a climbing trick where they lean their sword against a wall and use the handguard as a step stool. That makes sense, actually. Whoa! Just like a Japanese ninja! Miss Sonia, ninjas only exist in Japan. Well, that's technically not true. Well, it is a bamboo sword, but I'm sure a slender girl like Pekko could easily use it to climb. Well, Pekko, do you have anything to say? Here it is.
Okay, so yeah, let's not reset the difficulty thing for any reason. Hold on a sec, you bastard! Also, I better be able to save here. You're saying she used her sword as a step stool and went out the fucking window? Then what about the sword? It would have been left in the shower room and she wouldn't have been able to recover it, dumbass! Who are you, Hiko? Why do you even care? Shut up! Just shut the fuck up and answer me! If you have an answer, then fucking give it to me! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? Uh, I do not remember what to do. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Bastard! Got proof, you bastard? I'll show your fucking organs! You're pissing me off! You're pissing me off! Bastard! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Don't fuck with me! Got proof, you bastard? That's obviously impossible! If she used the bamboo sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind! Sword as a step stool, it would have been left behind. All right, so it's bamboo sword back. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Got proof, you bastard. That's obviously impossible. Shut up, shut up. Shut up. If she used the bamboo, bamboo sword as a step stool, bag. it would have this is the end. I keep forgetting I have to use all the words. If she used her bamboo sword as a step stone, she could have recovered it with her sword back. When she leaned her sword against the wall to use it, oh, as a yeah, step stone, if you tie the bag to the sword. sword. I never let really go of the bag. And after she climbed up to the window, as long as she hauled the bag up toward her. Been able to recover her bamboo sword. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. She used them both to escape. Hakane said she's like a ninja, but it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. If you'd only let me work with you, it would have been an even greater plan. Can we tie him up again? <laughs> no, you just back off! That's definitely what it is. I, I was thinking that maybe it was the, uh, the working together thing, we know that's allowed. Accept this unless there's proof. Proof. <sighs> also, let's see if I don't have to go through that again. Uh. Not 
little bit. Price of mask has come up again, honestly. Yeah, I, I don't actually have anything. Bastard! until after the voting. This is important, and it relates to the voting. It's about Peko's motive. Yeah, this this is bothering me. My motive? In the end, you had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? I'm not sure on that. Then, why did you kill Mahiru? Hmm, so it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say... It was for the sake of justice. Right, that. Huh? Justice? So she. Go be honest. I was. I was also expecting Sonya to be, be the serial killer. <laughs> In order to protect the justice of this world. Huh? I do not sully my hands to satisfy personal grudges. There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. Well, that answers the mask. <laughs> what do you say? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It, it's fine, just stop it. Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our heads. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. This is... Could she be? Yeah, you know who she is. As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the heart of malevolent evil. Just my reaction, I suspect she did. Justice complete! That is terrifying. I thought the mask was terrifying already. That's even more terrifying. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! They really do like to refer emojis in this time. Now then, let's execute justice! Wow. 
by a bird. What? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's a good reaction. <laughs> Echo, what are you doing? I am Sparkling Justice. In the name of Sparkling Shining Justice, I have come to deliver justice. I have no clue what that one's supposed to be. What's going on? What's this? Chill! A Pecco finally snapped! Not finally. Everyone, please be careful. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who claims to be an ally of justice. Clad in her various hero masks, she is a serial killer who exclusively targets other criminals. She is supposed to be... Uh, Huh? An ally of justice? So that's why you're wearing a mask! <coughs> this mask is the dividing line. Just like various idols, the sun is revered because it lies just beyond your glass. Justice should also be the same. Okay, that one I understand. I don't get it, but... But this is becoming really crazy! What? What the heck is this? That goes the killer. Why is it turning out like this? This is turning out to be a surprising turn of events! Hey! Hey! Now's not the time for you to be sleeping! Take a look! It's a killer! <sighs> this again? Huh? Sleep talking? Oh, he's probably remembering. <laughs> I'm probably remembering Tomo, huh? So, what's your answer to my previous question? Why did you kill Mahiru? That's easy. The pictures. This world must always be bathed in the light of justice. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... To protect justice, of course. Why? Why do the eyes flash? In order to protect justice, I have become its merciless sword. And executed justice. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! What Ibuki said. She's so gross! Echo. Is this your true identity? My true identity? <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice! <laughs> And crazy face emoji. Oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. End it? That's right. This, we need to end this already. So in the end, there's no mistake that was Pekka all along. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. All right. Comic book time. Time. 
Uh, on the morning of the incident, the hero met... Back to that. Work the Lord Mahiro if you go. Lord Force Two Letters. First one to arrive at the beach house was. That was Yoko, but I don't have that lady there. Let's arrive with the Mahiro. Body, that's the metal bat, don't have that. Watch the blood, don't have that. First one found the body, you want see Yoko. Oops, I screwed that up because this is where that one goes. Yoko is a big piece of evidence. That's one of prints. Pause after you can run away, the killer dropped the gun. Alright. In this case, the incident began this morning when Mahiru spoke to Hyoko. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the mode. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. Once I've done this, I'm fine with sprites. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. I mean, what's a vicious game? That item was the letters. They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. <coughs> Hyoko totally trusted that letter 
showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said, and was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hiyoko to sleep, the killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something <coughs> the killer personally left. Oh god, that face. It's like something out of Juchi Ito's books. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on him. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. They used plastic water bottles that were inside the beach house refrigerator. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. However, they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard <coughs> case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mario who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Kyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Kyoko left, the killer finally came out of the surfboard case and placed a gummy that they brought with them to shift our suspicion toward Hyoko. Ironically, placing that gummy is what helped clear our suspicion toward Hyoko. Finally, the killer began preparing to escape from the beach house. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route, the small window in the shower room. However, that window was rather high up and can't be reached easily, which is why the killer used the bamboo sword they always carry with them. The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. <coughs> as long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. This always throws me for a loop. Every time I think I have figured it out. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But, their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So, when the killer met up with us, they said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? I'm very curious to what 
repent. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice. That's no reason to condemn me. Uh, it's plenty of reason. Whatever. Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird, crazy bitch. There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? Of course, he's what immediately reacts to that. To protect what's most important to you, you must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Then I shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive, you all must give up your lives. <laughs> yeah, I feel sure you must like that. Are you serious? It's not serious. It's justice! If I fall, who will combat the evils of this world? Uh, you're an evil of this world. Now! Follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect justice! Hurry, and carry on justice! Give me a break! Who's gonna die for you? If we let Pecco go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. Okay, can we just vote already, please? I can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her. Um, however, before we do that... For the Kuma, the vote! Hurry up and let us vote already! I'm awake! <laughs> sure you are. I know about that. I've heard your story. Well, I wasn't listening, but who cares? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? <laughs> Such heart pounding excitement. I'm curious if they have... No, I, I was honestly expecting them to have have the, uh, the stupid mask. Pardon me, can we please have a little more time? Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. Uh, what? Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely strange. Huh? Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Pekko is the killer. That is true. However... As a serial killer enthusiast, <coughs> you're wondering if Pekko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? <laughs> Hey, Miss Sonia isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion about them than most. That would be the definition of an enthusiast. That makes her an enthusiast. What a he said. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Pepper, right? Distinct difference? You know, Sonia describes sparkling justice like this. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! Yeah, that's different That from... would be me! Sparkling justice! That's not the catfish she used. So 
but that's what it was. I think that's the difference is. Time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. Oh, oh no, did she do right things she did? Person. My duty has already been finished. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. Uh huh? Looks like she's back to normal? She did, did she? That mask has fulfilled its purpose. Just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose too late? What are you getting at? Don't tell me she wasn't the killer and this was... Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. Hey, be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I was it because no for you? I am just a mere tool. Tool? What do you mean? Called herself a tool, which means someone else used her then? Of course. The tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. Finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Pekko and Kyoko, someone else was also at the beach house. S someone else? Yeah. There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. By discovery now. I see. Are you talking about the body discovery now? Because technically we were in 
there when the announcement was being worked. Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't want to give us say so earlier. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... I see. That leaves us one person short. So that means there was one more person in the beach house! Plus, the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No, that's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? Yes. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that <laughs> I guess look, the one who commits out the crime will be the one who actually did everything. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? Yeah, there's only one person that can be. You're the only one! I see. Now I finally see the connection. The connection between the motive and the incident. But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Oh, yes there is. Would you call a game like that... a strong motive? So the events that occur in the game should definitely occur in real life. But we'll prove that too. This, right? I can prove it with this. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm it if it didn't have anything to do with Mahiru's murder, but there's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. I'm honestly surprised. Just because I thought Fuyuhiko was going to be the Biaki of this one. They're all actual photos, with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko, didn't you? I'm expecting something to happen, so let's say it again. You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister, right? First, you see the end of the prize. I was wondering when those actually going to come up. It was the envelope, right? The person who received the ending prize. It was you, wasn't it? If you were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. That's why you sent those photos to my hero to confirm it. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? Because Heko is the killer, right? No, Heko is the weapon. But he it! That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I exist as nothing more than a tool. I had no motive for killing Mahiru. No reason to kill. Not even the will to kill. I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. I thought she was crazy with the mask on. Hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? It means I'm not the killer. The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizu, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. What? What the hell? I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. 
No, I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Please stop saying young master. Young master? That is the truth of this case. Well, I'm sure you realize it by now. It's too late. You cannot do the thing. Holds up. That means our vote was incorrect. In that case, the person who gets to live is just me. That's nuts! No matter how you look at it, that's completely insane! But how would Peko be a tool in the first place? Peko is a legitimate human being! That's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. I could honestly see Monokuma going either way on this. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. What the hell? Commercial break! <coughs> Although there were some twists and turns... <coughs> Let's try that again. Although there were some twists and turns along the way, I want to kill what my hero Kozumi is. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Sorry. Uh Okay, I'll wait. So sorry, I'm just hesitating. Hey! Uh, there's no need to hesitate, no matter how you look at it, Peko's a killer. <laughs> why? Hey, hey! Well, why? <laughs> That's obvious, you're not a tool, you're a freaking human being. If I'm a human, then I'm not a tool. That's what you're saying, you're wrong. You just don't know. You just don't know that there are people who only exist to be tools. Obsessed myself. They exist to be tools. Hey. What should be for you, Nico? Yeah. Echo and I grew up together. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh. Are you two childhood friends then? No. No. It's completely different than that. I was born and being by my parents, the case of people that came in. They give me a reason to resist. I have to fulfill my duty to speak to the master's property. What? Property, you say? It means she's a hitman arranged by my clan to work directly under me. If my young master is attacked, I must defend him as his shield. If he intends to kill, I must be his sword. Okay, but that photo on the upper right is adorable. That is my only reason for living. Before I am human, I am my young master's tool, first and foremost. Until this body of mine can no longer move, I shall fulfill my duty until the very end. You're wrong. You're not a tool, Peko. Because if you were a tool, what was all that time we spent together? Nothing. Huh? <laughs> I was ordered by my young master to behave. Does this work to interact with you all? What? A professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. After we arrived on this island, that's what my young master wanted me to do. You fiend. That is why you were hiding your relationship with me. No. It's not as if 
that starred the number of right on this island. Before that, young, my young master has always told me to hide a relationship. My young master loves relying on his household's power. He even hates me for the tool given to him by his household. I am nothing but a tool. No matter what I am told, I am nothing but a tool for killing. My young master intends to kill, it is only natural for me to act as his tool. When you tried to kill my hero, it wasn't you, it was Yuhiko. Damn it. It is what it is. I thought I'd be that game, I saw him give these photographs. Damn it! Understand, why is my sister in these photos? Don't fuck with me! She's, she's covered in blood. What does it mean? Why can't I remember? How come I do, don't even know if my sister is dead? You... I tried to confirm with my hero, and that's why you wanted to talk to her. So... Yeah, I sent her the photo because I wanted to make sure she'd respond. But she never replied back to me. Not only that, she started avoiding me too. Okay. <coughs> I'm thinking for you, Hiko is the Byakuya of this game. And he's not dying. At least not yet. But... I'm pretty sure my hero was confused too. I mean, we all were. Before anyone played the game, we didn't even know this incident had happened. That's why, if we were told that we're connected to it, there's no one who could accept it. Um... Um... You know, when Mahiro spoke to Ibuki, she mentioned something about this. Oh... Oh my my! Hmm... Three points to know it people troubling about the others. Huh? You sound pretty serious. Um... So I'm not, I can't really do anything about it on my own, so I want someone to think about with me. But... If I need to make amends, I would, but I don't even know how. Are you serious? That definitely sounds serious. I can use my beach plans for you. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's important that everyone gets along anyway. Just tell them I'm not feeling well. Plus, it doesn't have to be today. There's always tomorrow. Oh. She wanted to discuss how to make amends, but Yoko was the... Accept her invitation. <laughs> I should have gone too. But. It was rather convenient for you, wasn't it, for you, Hiko? You could make use of their plan to meet each other alone. You could easily lure the hero into a trap, right? Hey. By calling both of them the beach house, you were able to pin the blame on Yoko. What the? Seriously, what the heck? <laughs> eye for an eye, that's the world I live in. Most sister was merged. The reason that happened was because of some person here. Damn it! No choice but to kill that person on my sister's behalf, right? And so... My young master thought of a plan and executed it, so it is his plan? I am so confused. <laughs> when he use a badge and murder weapon because in the game, that's what was used to kill girl E. For revenge, calling the person death the same way my sister was killed just doesn't make sense. Wait, what? But his sister wouldn't have been the one that was... <laughs> Even ruined my disguise. It's the only thing I could do to avenge my sister. That is... So that is why you killed me here with the bat? <laughs> Still, I believe her up to the very last minute. That, that game was just a work of fiction. Even so, that bitch. Hey. If that game is actually real, are you the one who killed Girl E? Why you? I want to hear about that. But. The fact your sister was killed is terrible. It's unfortunate, but. Why? You should have killed that girl. Shut the hell up. Who cares about that? Just answer me. What do you know about that game? What are you saying? You have no right to do that. Who has the right to judge others for the crimes? Bench is just wrong. Jeez. To be honest, this whole time I was actually a coward. If I called over Mahiru, I was still trying to find an excuse to not go through with the plan. Yeah. After she said that to me, it all went out the window. I really pissed off and grabbed the metal bat that I hit on the bench. At that moment, <laughs> the master called for me and made me kill Mahiru. Huh? Young master, I am finished. I am so confused on this one. What? You, 
You say we killed because you're ordered to? <laughs> Told us not to fight by his will, but by its actions. <laughs> I don't get this at all. Of course! Of course you don't understand, because humans are completely different from one another. Everyone's birthplace and upbringing is, is different. It's obviously impossible for them to understand each other. Hmm. So everyone just pretends to understand and pretends to be understood. Be quiet. Okay, you're too annoying. Can you just be quiet? Yes, indeed. Okay, dokie, I'll be quiet. <laughs> Afterward, just my young master planned, I proceeded to tamper with the scene of the crime. <coughs> However, I also insert the possibility of being found out. <laughs> so in order to get you guys to make the wrong choice, I decided to make use of that serial killer school. It cannot be. It's just that you were sparkling justice in order to make us taste our votes. Mm. So we fell for it. We fell for a trick all along. That's right, you guys have made the wrong decision. But me, a mere tool as the killer, I'm aware that my young master was the true killer. That's obviously wrong! Well, hold on, don't act like our loss has been decided yet. No. It should be decided already, isn't that right, Monokuma? This is troubling! I'll admit, all this talk about Peko being a tool is pretty persuasive. You approach it from various angles, it makes sense if you think he was actually the true killer. <laughs> hold on, I'm telling you to hold on! I see. So for Peko, Self is your true hope, then. On his behalf, you killed my hero, and now you're trying to sacrifice us and him. Great! You would only go that far because you're one and only hope. Wrong. I have no hope. I am just... <laughs> a tool? <sighs> well, if we ask her, she'll probably just play dumb anyway. Now then! So I'm going to ask someone else. Hey, Mihika, what do you think? Huh? A about what? Hey. Is Peko just a tool to you? That tool survived by sacrificing Peko and the rest of us. <laughs> and here's the crazy eyes. Is that your hope? What? Shh. Hold on. What's the use of asking stuff like that? What? Now you seem distressed that your tool doesn't connect with that, right? Jeez. Peko, be honest. You're trying to protect Fujiko of your own free will? Yes, yes, she is. Hey. Hiko, can you tell me the truth? The fact that she killed on your behalf, the fact that she lied to us by acting like a killer, those old things you ordered her to do, is that the truth? Huh? I... I... Um... Uh, Hiko? Yeah. I know you gave her guts, but... Listen, Peck, we're all gonna die. Yeah. I... 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 He did not order it. Yes. just have to tell the truth. Follow your orders, you just can tell them that. I. I. Fuhiko. I've mentioned this before, but. In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shoot you your lifespan. Those idiots Byaki and Territory were proof of that. Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by affection when it's when you find the kill. You're still saying that? Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here. Guarantees my survival. You don't really feel that way, right? You're not that kind of person. Because if you were, you wouldn't be hesitating like you are now, right? Young Master! There's no need to hesitate, Young Master. Please, just tell them the truth. Young Master, you're the one who ordered me. I just did as I was told because I'm a tool. Mm. Yuhiko, this could be considered your ultimate choice. Regardless, either way, you'll still lose Peko, but... Hey. You insist you're the killer, as she said, and sacrifice and survive alone. <laughs> or you'd rather reject Peko and fight alongside us in his despair. God, I hate you, Nikito. Which one will be your hope? Let's hear what you have to say. Damn it! I... I... Young Master, I am finished. You... you... What the hell did you do? You already know, right? What's going to happen after you kill someone? I did it because I know. There is no way I can let that happen to you. <sighs> hey, Peko. Do you remember what I told you when we first arrived on this island? Our professional relationship doesn't exist on this island. We're just fellow high school students now. You need to run. <coughs> Got it? Just let me take the fall so you can get away. Young Master, that is impossible. Shh. Shut up! 
I'm ordering you not to worry about me. There is no way I cannot worry about you. I am my young master's tool. A tool to protect my young master. Without an owner, the tool serves no purpose. God damn it, we are done with that crap! Why won't you listen to what I'm saying? Regardless, I will not flee. Besides, I'm fairly certain they'll discover the truth soon enough. Then, why did you... I have a plan. Huh? A plan? Please do not worry. I promise I will keep my young master alive and return him safely home. You idiot. What do you intend to do? I intend to fulfill my duty as your tool. Now please, go! Hyoko will be waking up soon. He's like on blue screen, like, uh... The guy in one, is he? After you leave, I must block the door to the road with Mahiru's body. Hurry! Damn it. You better run away. Got it? Just forget about me! Forget about the Kuzuryu clan! You better escape! So how about for you to go, please? Tell me the truth. Sorry. Guess I can't go through with it after all. Master. I'm a disgrace. So that's actually what I have to do to survive? I just feel ashamed of myself. I mean, I can't live without depending on something. I just feel disgusted with myself. Echo. And if I admit that, it means you really are just a tool to me. How many times did I tell you? I don't want a tool given to me by the kids real quick. Young Master. Oh. oh my, so this is how it turned out. <laughs> Here I thought it'd be more brutal and heartless, and how disappointing. Which means everything happened thanks to her meddlesome actions. Why you? There's no way a human that meddlesome could ever be considered a tool. Hey. My Kuma, you know a lot, didn't you? You about what Pekko and Fuki were discussed. Jeez. Well, it's obvious now. I mean, that's why you have surveillance cameras. You're just having fun, huh? Man, if it was an act of desperation, Pekka's plan was surprisingly interesting. <laughs> You're actually the first to try to influence the outcome of the trial like that. <laughs> but too bad. You're definitely the killer. Pekko, the tool with heart, is the killer. Sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't fulfill your request. Even though you did all to provide me the chance to survive. But I... <sighs> I had a feeling it would turn out like this. Huh? Young Master! You have a kind heart despite being a Yakuza. That's why you question your position and constantly worry about it. For you to sacrifice someone else just to escape by yourself? I believe you won't accept that so easily. <laughs> We've been together ever since we were children. Even a tool would understand that. What? Th then why? Even so. I wanted you to escape. I wanted you. Oh, she was actually worse than that. I wanted to protect you. Echo. I am terribly sorry. I will not be able to serve by your side until the very end, young master. Goodbye. Oh. I'm sorry for what I've done to you all, too. Maybe a selfish request, but please forgive my young master. And please do not cause a senseless killing such as this ever again. Uh, of course. <laughs> Don't do Monokuma. Why are you started already? I will never feel despair. As long as I'm a tool, I'm fully prepared to die. So cool! Will you be able to maintain that composure until the very end? People act as proud as you always shed tears of despair in the end. <laughs> now then, let's begin. Young master for you, Hiko. Please permit me to make one final selfish request. So... Did I tell you not to call me Young Master? I want you to remember. The tool, Peko Pekiyama, used to stand beside you. I'd like it if you remembered that. <laughs> That's it. How many times do you have to keep... I don't need any tools. <sighs> you did say that. <laughs> you 
let's begin. The punishment time brimming with despair. Jeez. Oh, you get it yet? Thrills, chills, kills! This time for the ultimate swordsman, Peko Peko Yama. Why? You stay by my side all this time. Why don't you get it? Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment! I... Never need a sword or shield. I never needed a tool. Again, the pictures are adorable. I hate that's being used here. So... You didn't need to become a tool. Let's give it everything we've got! You just... You just needed to be yourself. I never wanted a tool. I just wanted you. Only you. I was worried this was going to come up. <coughs> Why? Why couldn't you understand? We've always been together ever since we were kids! Let's go! It's punishment time! Please, Peko. Don't go! I need you! Don't leave me! Uh. Young Master? Young Master? I'm internally screaming. Expecting that. So they're both dead? worthless <laughs> and it's back to that even this despair is just a ladder to a bright shining future that awaits us the higher the ladder the brighter we can shine that is the unmistakable truth hmm. call me a ladder huh you say some pretty interesting things <laughs> in a way your misguided thoughts of what hope should be remind me of him hmm. I don't really understand what you're saying Okay, yeah, we know who he's talking about. He's definitely talking about, uh, Makoto. Listen carefully. Anyway, I should make a declaration. It will definitely destroy you. <laughs> I 
hopes of all the ultimates here will definitely completely utterly destroy you. There won't be a strand of cotton left when we're done with you. That's your future. Uh, how much longer are you planning to say such stupid things? I understand, even if Hiko died, you know. Like I said, he's a perverse Makoto. Not yet. He's still alive. What? Wait, what? I mean, good, but what? Everyone! For you, Hiko is still alive. You serious? For you, Hiko! Frankly, rushed over to Hiko's side. <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? Do something! Hey! You need to save him! Hey! Uh, I'm trying! But his blood, he won't stop bleeding out! His pulse is getting weaker! Can't you... Can't you do anything about it? God damn it! Hmm... Well, serves him right. Refill with hope at the thought of saving her yourself? That's why you end up like that. You stupid brother! Well, what are you so late back about? <coughs> you need to hurry up and save him. I don't believe it! A surprise order? What the heck? Why have to burn my precious calories just to save some ducks and stuff? That's wrong! It's your duty to save him. Huh? Duty? Hey, hey! Because it's written the school trip rules. Oh yeah! That would be breaking Vakum's own rule. If only the black gets executed, the few people should be allowed to be executed. <laughs> oh, well, if I could, I'd do something about it right now. Since my magic stick was taken away, I'm practically powerless. Hey, hey. But you, you should be able to do it. I guess I have no choice. Fine, fine. Well, there's no way I can violate a rule, even if it's me. So. Fine then, I'll save him. Really? Like. I was actually gonna do that all along, because I've already prepared for this. Mm -hmm. I'm prepared. And that's what happened. The siren began ringing from out of nowhere. Go be honest, I thought that was outside my window. And gradually grew closer and closer. <coughs> Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood! Dr. Killgood, you've already killed your patients! We've got to get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat! So, I'll see you later! After he said that, the ambulance containing Monokuma and Fuyuhiko vanished from our sight. Oh. Is it really going to be okay to leave this to Monokuma? Damn it. He can't be helped. It's not like there's any other way. Perhaps. He's going to be fine. He's probably going to get better and come back to us again. <laughs> You're right. He's definitely going to come back and talk to us Max. Nothing happened. Mm. Then all we can do is wait. <laughs> Why don't you wait for him? I mean, he caused my hero's death, you know. However... Let's put that aside, since Peg has already been punished. Or, or else we will not be able to advance forward. Fall, my tears. There are no second chances in life. We cannot return to what's already transpired. There's no other way than to move forward like an arrow of light piercing through the darkness. <laughs> D damn it! I, I guess... Things are as exciting shit's where I can't make around. I didn't realize it, but I was wishing for that too. The bottom of my heart, I really want him to return. For you, Hiko! Don't want anyone else to be a sacrifice. And so the class trial ended. We still can't see the real ending that we really want yet. When that finally arrives, what will have happened to us by then? No matter where I look, no matter what possibilities I look for, I can't see our future, not even a speck. 
if we were in a boat floating unreliably in a vast dark sea. We're just left there, alone. Only one word could explain our situation. Despair. Couldn't find a more suitable word than that. Death Lies in Video Games, name of the achievement. Obtain Black Dragon Blade. Alright, I am going to end it here. <laughs> that was... That was something. Monami keeps confusing me more and more. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, next time I time I do Danganronpa, I think I want to try the monomy mode, just because I'm curious. And, uh, have a great time, wherever it may be. Bye, guys. <laughs>